This week in Nerf, new blasters on Amazon, 2018 blasters already being reviewed, and the rebirth of Turf Springs. I'm Jangle, and this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Diving right on in, new blasters on Amazon. The Mediator and the Helios are on Amazon right now. A Reddit post by the Nerf Noob shared this information as they stumbled onto this while searching through Amazon. And uh, the Mediator is going for $20 currently, and the Helios going for $30. Now, the Helios actually has already been on sale. The sale has ended already, unfortunately, but the fact that within the first week of it being available, it was already discounted was kind of insane. So anybody that wanted one uh, probably picked one up if they were checking, you know, information sources like Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. But in case you didn't know, it's available. Both of them are available. And uh, there are some reviews already out of these. And... Uh, one of my chief concerns about the mediator was that the priming handle was going to be too close to the grip for adult hands and you might knock into it but it looks like that may not be a problem now i still have to get my hands on my own to see if maybe my hands which may be a little bit bigger than some others uh, have an issue or not but if it's not an issue that's great and you know kudos to the hasbro design team but Really, I'm just waiting for that Mediator stock to drop because that is what I am super excited for. And uh, I really, really want that stock with the integrated hidden blaster in the back of it. Hopefully it's comfortable. Hopefully it functions well. I um, I want it. Pl plain and simple. I, I, I just want it. <laughs> um, but moving on, and actually moving on, but kind of on a similar topic, uh, Almost the entire, if not the entire 28 line that we know about uh, is available and has been reviewed by people overseas. And it's kind of crazy. I keep seeing pictures popping up from various sources of uh, these new blasters like the Quadrants and the Tri-Break and other things being found in, I believe, Malaysia and some other places, I, I think, as well. But the big thing is the YouTube channel Al C. And I'll link this down below. Uh, they, they did reviews of like all of the blasters, all of them. And the unfortunate thing is they're not in English, so I can't understand them. But if you do just want to see kind of like a first look, kind of a first impressions type review videos of these, and you don't mind so much about what they're saying, but just want to see the blasters, you know, in hand, uh, go check those out. I'll have the YouTube channel down below, but I thought that was really, really interesting that they already have them and, uh, We'll see how long it is before they start hitting over here as we've already got the Mediator and the Helios and who knows what the timeline is going to be for the rest of these. I'm very curious, very interested and very hopeful that we'll start seeing some cool stuff. Uh, okay, I actually shouldn't say all of the 2018 Blasters because they didn't have like some of the crazier high end, like the, the big items, but the stuff that we've seen starting to be leaked out, they have their hands on already. I should have put that put that better not so you're like oh all oh, the big stuff is you know that new that new potential flywheel or belt blaster and all no not uh they didn't didn't have that i'm sorry i should have should have prefaced that first the smaller stuff for the most part they have their hands on hopefully maybe maybe they'll surprise us and have the bigger stuff in the near future as well but uh, you know it's, it's still it's still interesting so go check that out now, something that I'm personally very excited about, this is the Turf Springs, I guess we'll call it a rebirth or continuation. Uh, now, a couple weeks ago, we talked about how Turf Springs in Australia was shutting down so that the owner could actually focus on, you know, having fun with the hobby and enjoying life and doing all the things that he wants to do and not having to focus on just running this business side of things, which I think is a great thing. And I, I'm glad he took a step back to do that for himself because that's so important. You actually enjoy the hobby you're participating in, but that did leave a little bit of a void. And uh, thankfully, uh, one of the US distributors, Paige of, um, what's the name? Paige's Blaster, uh, Paige's Big League Blaster Mods. Uh, has stepped up and said that he will be continuing along with some others. I am so sorry, I can't remember your names. I think there were others involved. Um, will be keeping the Turf brand alive. And they'll be moving production over to the United States and doing things here and uh, distributing from here. Now, that's great for people in the U.S. It's great for us. 
But for the people in Australia, New Zealand, and, and, and that side of the world that have gotten accustomed to having turf springs in their neck of the woods that's easier to get chipping on and, and all that kind of stuff, it's a bummer. There's no way around it. It's definitely a bummer because you like having that nice source readily and easily available for your, your springs that maybe they'll be able to find someone be a bulk distributor overseas again and they can you know just ship large quantities of product they'll still have that that easy source to get things i, I really hope so fingers crossed because uh it's always a bummer when you lose a source of good product uh so i i'm definitely looking forward to seeing turf springs stateside but i hope they also have some things to make their product available overseas in various markets as well. Something that I really, really like about this is that Paige went ahead and posted, or uh, was it Evan? There was a post uh, in the Blaster Guts Facebook group um, talking about, or asking rather, for input um, about what, what did they like about Turf springs what would they change what would they have done differently what are the what are the good and the bad what can they do to make it even better and i think that is absolutely awesome that kind of outreach and and uh, community interaction is great it's going to yield good results because they're going to be in tune with what their customers want and that's so huge that is such a good thing and i it makes me really really happy and i cannot wait to start ordering products from them. It's gonna be, uh, I, I'm really hoping they're able to keep that same level of quality that Turf Springs has been known for in their own products. But I will keep you all updated. I have a link down below to that post actually if there's anything you wanna chime in with and let them know uh, what it is you would like to see and, and all of that. Definitely go click that, check out the page and uh, hopefully they'll have something announced in the near future to, uh, you know, follow and be able to pick up stuff that you're looking for. Now, let's move on to the mod of the week. And this comes to us by William Redner. This was posted on Facebook, and this is their Long Tyrion. Now, this may not be the first Long Tyrion, but I love the way this one looks. I love the color. I love the, uh, the paint job on it with the aesthetics, with the white kind of... It, it's not clouds, but the first thing it makes me think of is clouds, and I love I love the look of clouds. So I, it kind of caught me. I like the lines. I like the, the the silver strip to break up some of the the stuff in the middle on it. I really like that. I like a lot about this blaster. I like the way it looks. Uh, I bet it feels pretty good in hand just looking at it. Just just whenever I see a long tear on, I always think that looks nice. That looks awesome. Uh, I kind of want one. And uh, if you are in that same mindset of, you kind of want one. It may, may be nice to have. I like the way that one looks. Well, this one's actually for sale, which is very different from normally how we have things on our model of the week. This one is for sale on eBay. There's, uh, I think, as the time of this video going live, I think three days left. Um, last I checked, it was at around $100, which seems really, really low for this. Go check it out. I don't think it's gonna stay that low, but uh, whoever's gonna get this is probably gonna end up with a nice, nice blaster. But I wanted to share that with all of you because I thought it was kind of neat that we're featuring a blaster that one of you could potentially end up with if you really like it. So go check it out, link will be down below, of course. Now that brings us to the last topic for the day, which is our video of the week. This one, oh, this one. This comes to us from Cabo Crazy, and uh, this is Squad Supremacy Part One. Ah, oh, I've been waiting for this video, not, not gonna lie. This is also so much better than I expected it was gonna be. Um, this video has one of the best gameplay intros I have ever seen for Nerf videos. It got me so hyped and so ready for the rest of the video. I was so invested by the time the game actually started. I was just like, yes, give me more. I was so, Kaba, uh, you nailed it. You nailed it. Um, he also did multi-cam footage for this game. So for each of the two games that are featured in this video, there's three different point of views, which is fantastic. It lets you really see kind of the field and how it's playing out and, and what's going on uh, really, really well. And overall, I just really enjoyed this video. And I'm so stoked for the next two I believe he's going to do two more videos based on, on the way he's doing them. But uh, I, I, just, I just go watch this. 
watch this video, do the thing, click the link down below. It's so good. It's making me even more excited to start doing more gameplay videos. I've been missing doing them. I'm getting the itch again. And uh, Kaba, I, just, I love it. Keep it up. Uh, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. That video is going to be right over here as we are at the end of the video. Also, go check out last week's video of the week, which is the Toy Drive Giveaway by Clowny. I know I don't normally go back to older videos, but that one is well worth taking a look as well. Do some good. But yeah, click that video. It's awesome. It's awesome. Just trust me. Uh, let me know what you thought of everything in this week's episode as well. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.